how YouTube are you going? <clears throat> um, today I'm just going to have a go at building a beehive stand out of some scrap steel I got from the local tip. Being in a mining town, you'll be surprised what you find at the tip. There's so much waste, it's unbelievable. Um, basically, I'm just going to make a rectangular steel frame and mount it on a pole that I've got. And then um, once it's all done and get it down to the block, I'll dig a hole and bury this in concrete just to make it more stable. Um, I'll be making a couple of them, um, just one for today and then we'll see how it goes and I'll make another one later. And uh, that's pretty much it, so I thought I'd sort of do a bit of a video on it. Um, I'll be using the grinder and a welder and a few other bits and pieces to make sure you got the right safety gear, gloves, welding mask. I've got uh, safety glasses and stuff as well. And uh, just some decent protection, like proper gloves and I've got steel cap boots on, long pants, uh, thick cotton shirt. And uh, yeah. Make sure you just take it easy. Alright, we'll get into it and see how we go. So I've got three sides done. I've got the uh, first two sides tacked together. I'm just about to tack this corner together. And I've just got that other far side there to measure up and trim up, ready to weld in. Um, I have made myself drawings and stuff to work off, it's always a bit of an idea. Um, originally I was going to make the um, this base wide enough only for an 8 frame hive but I've changed my mind. I'm going to make it wide enough for a 10 frame hive and probably add just another piece in here so that I can sit an eight frame hive that way later on if I want to put a bigger hive to expand or something like that at least I can rather than trying to modify something later it's easier to do it as I'm making it rather than you know what I mean so instead of having to modify it while it's in the ground and having to move the bees and everything else at least if I do it this way it's I've got the choice to be able to put my eight frame hive on here or the ten frame hive All right, I'll, uh, I'll keep going, get back to you soon. Right, so I've got everything welded up. This uh, center bracket's exactly in the center of the, uh, the frame. Um, it's a piece of uh, angle iron, everything's angle iron. And that's what it looks like underneath. And that piece of round tube down there will uh, will get put in here so it stands up like that. I'll have to notch it out and everything else and then weld it on. I'm just waiting for this to cool down and then I'll uh, grind up the uh, all the welds. Just to level them off and then um, I'll spray them all with coal gel before I paint them. Um, you probably should, don't really need to paint it, I mean it's very very heavily galvanized um, but I'll just paint it up just to make it look pretty. Alright I'll be uh, back after I've made up these, I've well, ground all these welds off and prepped up that bit of tube for welding. Okay, so uh, it's done. I uh, ended up finding a shorter piece of tube just so they wouldn't have to dig as deep a hole. Uh, at the end of the day, this will probably be only like about oh, 
maybe two feet out of the ground so there's only about two feet that I'll need to dig in and bury in some concrete and I think the bees will be quite happy with that once I've finished cleaning it up and paint it so there you go um, the way I've got that piece of tube mounted it's offset so it's not in the center of the frame the center of the frame is probably about oh, here and that's because you've got the landing board at the front which weighs nothing so basically the beehive sort of sits from here back so the center of gravity is going to be obviously where I've got that center of the tube just in case you're wondering Righto YouTube, next time I do a video on this it'll be after it's painted and installed which could be six months away probably. Alright, thanks for watching, catch you later.